you know, I, I don't know anyone else. I don't know of anyone else who's ever done this, but I had the idea of saving the ads because I kind of figured that they would become vintage one day. You know, the store ads. Figured they would be vintage because, you know, a lot of us are curious about how much these vintage items were when they were new. Like this camcorder, for instance. People may wonder how much that camcorder was when it was new. This ad is from uh, June of 1996. The time when I was shopping for a camcorder that day or that around that time. See, this is the stereo queen, you know, the shelf system that they used to do in those days. And CDs, DVDs are barely coming in. And look at this computer, $1,300. And it had a 540 megabyte, <laughs> 75 megahertz. That's a laugh. <laughs> and then 20 or 27 inch TVs for 200 bucks. And they're tube too. They're not, you know, they're not. And then VCRs for 120 and that's for a, a cheap one too. And washers and, and everything. And then here, over here, this is where I went to buy my camcorder. This is the one, this is the one that I chose. It was a CC 436. And I guess over here, we had a choice. We had a choice of which one to pick for the same price. And then they offered this Sony one with image stabilizer. It was like the first camcorder that was, I mean, that they offered. Well, they offered them before, but it was like the first time that they offered image stabilizer for a decent price. And then speakers. <laughs> All these tube TVs. And look at the price of this one, 1200 bucks. And, uh, and then they started getting bigger and bigger, you know. You know, the typical TV was 27 inch or 25. They had the Admiral and then these more of the shelf systems. And then, you know, another shelf, and then these computers. Back then, they offered 75 megahertz for $1,800. Dang. And then they offered the good stuff with, 100, with a 1 2.2 gigabyte hard drive. <laughs> That's a laugh. Total laugh. And then, back then, they didn't have any cell phones, so they offered these wireless phones and that was pretty popular in those days and of course in the refrigerator and a, and a name brand vcr for 200 bucks i mean they started getting cheaper but still though they were not all that cheap and then the back of this montgomery ward had tires and bikes and lawnmowers and here's another montgomery ward that was a part like one week apart or something where they I guess the prices changed and we still had a choice of either the VHS full size or the image stabilizer um, Sony or a VHS C with color viewfinder and or a view cam the same price and this one had a color viewfinder too like the one that I bought and here's another computer 100 megahertz for 13, 1400 bucks and big screen TVs and videotapes VHS's and then a um, amplifier refrigerator they used to have Admiral Nana, whatever brand is and so opening it up more more of this stuff I mean this is kind of like the same Ad. And then, then there's an 8mm steady shot for 800 bucks. And then uh, more of these um, rack systems, more computers, and then TVs. You know, it was typically 27 inch or 20 inch, 19 inch. I mean, like that, that was the typical prices of them at this time. Refrigerator. And lawnmowers again, bikes, Roadmaster, Huffy, 
Okay, now here's a uh, here's a Warge, another Warge, a Montgomery Ward stuff again. A Nintendo 64, 150, and then 27 inch Sony for 500 or 800 for the for the um, 32 VCRs. And then the, the I guess these are snapshot cameras as far as I know. Yeah, they were snapshots. <laughs> they didn't have digital cameras at the time. This is this is an ad from 1997. So I had this idea to save them, you know, because I kind of figured, you know, you know, they, they would be a, it would be a vintage thing. I mean, it's like it's fun to go back in time to to remember what kind of stuff they had and what prices they had in those days. And it's just mostly clothes and other things like that. Okay, that's the... Huh. Did they actually have a wireless computer there? <laughs> There's another words camp. Another words. See over here, they, they made... They were... This is... Um, 98 now this is when they started coming up with really cool cameras back then so I guess I discovered they made a mistake picture or I think there's just a presentation thing or some this one I don't know whatever that was and then well, I remember these too high 8 camcorder for 800 700 bucks there's a 700 and this one was 800 and then this is when they first started doing screens it was probably around that time some VHS C's it was about this time when they started doing screens I mean it, it started getting popular you know those screens because people liked the convenience of being able to see it without having to bother going into the viewfinder all of these are VHS C's in 1996. No, no, 98. And then these are snapshot cameras. They didn't have VHS or they didn't have digital cameras back then. And I think the first digital camera came out somewhere in the early 2000s. But they were cheap though. They only had like, um, like uh, what do we call it? One mega megapixel or not even that. See here, here's here's a camcorder I wanted back in 1998, but this one was a thousand bucks. But this one had a 3.5 inch screen, and there was a high A. I, I wanted this camcorder back then, but I never got it though. But now here's a, <clears throat> a Circuit City from 1997, JVC, and then more Shelfer systems. 25 inch TV for 250 bookshelf speakers VCRs TV again 32 inch you know it was, it was getting becoming a trend for bigger TVs you know the tube TVs and VCR a really nice one for 279 and then you know there's they're still like a really nice one cost 300 but uh, but uh uh, uh, a cheap branded one or like a aftermarket ones cost about 150 or less and then these are some of the first DVD players here some of the first this one was 699 yeah, and this was 499 I'm not sure what was the difference but I didn't care back then and then they started doing VCR with TV with VCRs you know because people liked the convenience of everything all in one amplifiers they still did CD players <laughs> CD storage bookshelf speakers and then more shelfers like a really nice one no that's a rack that's a rack system and these are the typical shelf systems that they had these funky looking AOA or well this was not an AOA but this is typically the way they looked with CD players, like three CDs, typically. Big screen TVs. And I don't think any of these were high definition. I don't think any TV was high definition back then. So, 
you know, like the TV holders. Okay, computers. This is what they offered for a computer back then. This is 1997, as you see it. This is the kind of thing they offered for a computer back then. This was a HP 32 megabyte RAM, 6 gigabyte hard drive. I guess they started improving over the last year or two. See, 2300, 2400 for this computer. It was a Sony though. 32 megabytes, 4 gigabytes of hard drive. <laughs> That's a laugh. <laughs> the video I'm making almost takes more than that. <laughs> That's a laugh. Printers, you know, printers were not cheap to buy either back then. Games, joysticks. That's a laugh. When I look at these things now, it's a laugh. I laugh. <laughs> what, are, what are we supposed to do with 30 megabytes of RAM? <laughs> How is it gonna run with that? Three gigabytes. How am I gonna run a com run my stuff today with three gigs? <laughs> that's a laugh. But that's what they had back then, though. Macintosh. That was a Macintosh. And this is a Packard Bell for sixteen hundred bucks. More camcorders. And this was a eight millimeter for seven hundred. Circuit City. This was like a RCA, like an easy cam or something for 350. A handy cam, a Sony 8mm. And then this is that the stripped down version of that camcorder that I bought for 350. And then more of those high 8 camcorders, VHSCs. And then all these accessories. A lot of VHSCs, I see. And eight millimeters and VHS. They were still doing bait VHSs back then. And then more car. This is a car stereo. And then let's see, this is what they had in those days. Car stereos were not cheap to buy back then. Shit, no way. And then the portable CD players. And then these portable boom boxes. I had a complaint about these boom boxes. Is that they're, 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 they're not they're not as nice as they, they used to be. You know, like, I mean, like, they cut off the bass and the trebles and the volume. You know, I mean, I, and they have no power. You know, like, what's up? And then the wireless phones, the cordless phones. Yeah, they didn't, there were no cell phones at this time. Or there was, but it was just very expensive. Actually, over here, it says it right here. I don't, I'm not sure when they first came up with the cell phone, but I do know that it was going on to the late 90s or middle 90s. But they were just too expensive back then. They are really expensive back then. And I guess this is what they had for cell phones back then. Mail-in rebates, if you can remember. Man, that's it. That was just some of the ads that I have. I have ads all the way up till today. I mean, I've been saving them. I've been saving them for the last like since '96. I've been I've been saving like two like from different stores. I've been saving all the ads from all the different stores like Best Buy, everything. I've been saving them. Uh, like all the way up till now like here's one from 2001 for instance like a holiday thing you know but I, I'm not I'm not gonna show everything on on this video because it's gonna require a lot of time and then here's when the PlayStation 2 was hot I mean this was 2001 well PlayStation 2 came out in when did it come out 2000 right so and then this was the Dreamcast PlayStation 1 but anyway well anyway and then here's an Xbox when they came out see I would, I would saved all these ads you know but I mean I, I don't have time unfortunately this is from I'm not sure this is from 2001 and this is a, a computer that they offered back then and say so it was a much better improvement over just a few years 
Gucci. This one offered a 128 memory, two gigabytes of RAM. They they greatly improved over like the last few years. Or yeah. Well, anyway, well that's it with this video. So all right.